Welcome to the Health Bulletin. Join us in today's special feature, where we're taking an in-depth look into a fascinating topic, yet somewhat alarming, world of zoonotic diseases. We'll be exploring the intricate nature of these illnesses that have jumped from animals to humans, and unpacking the substantial effects they have on our lives and the world around us. So buckle up as we untangle the complex web linking wildlife, human activity, and the worldwide surge in zoonotic diseases. Let's get started. Our planet is home to countless living creatures, from the tiniest bacteria to the largest animals. And while we may coexist with them, there are certain diseases that can pass from animals to humans, known as zoonotic diseases. It have been a hot topic in recent years, with outbreaks of diseases like Ebola, SARS and COVID-19 making headlines. But what exactly are zoonotic diseases? And how can we control and prevent them? We're going to explore the reasons behind their increasing prevalence, the effects they have on public health. Zoonotic diseases are caused by pathogens, such as viruses, bacteria, parasites, and fungi that are transmitted from animals to humans, either through direct contact with an infected animal or natural host, or through contaminated food, water, or environments. For example, the Ebola virus, which was first identified in 1976, is believed to have originated from fruit bats and spread to humans through close contact with infected animals. Similarly, the Nipah virus, which was first identified in Malaysia in 1999, is believed to have been transmitted from pigs to humans. Many of us love to interact with animals, whether it's through our pets at the zoo or in the wild. However, this close proximity to animals increases our risk of exposure to zoonotic diseases. The majority of emerging infectious diseases are zoonotic in nature. This is due to factors such as increased human population and urbanization, changes in land use and agriculture, and rise in global travel and trade. Our world becomes more interconnected, and so the risk of zoonotic diseases spreading from one country to another increases. The impact of these diseases can be devastating, both on a human and economic level. All past disease outbreaks, particularly zoonotic diseases, have caused high mortality rates and can lead to illnesses followed by disability. They can also have a huge impact on the economy and has the potential to create a ripple effect by disrupting workplaces and industries, impacting countless lives and resulting in mounting expenses of medical treatment. The outbreak of avian flu in Asia in the early 2000s which was caused by the H5N1 virus, resulted in the culling of millions of poultry birds and caused severe economic losses for the affected countries. We have all witnessed this during COVID-19 and its after effects and its subsequent impact on global trade restrictions. The COVID-19 pandemic serves as a stark reminder of the impact that zoonotic diseases can have. It has led to economic shutdowns, overwhelmed healthcare systems and loss of lives across the globe. However, there are steps we can take to control and prevent zoonotic diseases transmission. One of the most important measures is to improve our understanding and surveillance of these pathogens. This includes monitoring animal populations, identifying high risk areas and detecting new outbreaks early on. Scientists and researchers are also working on developing vaccines and treatments for various type of zoonotic diseases. But perhaps the most effective way to control these diseases is through prevention. This includes practicing good hygiene, such as washing hands after contact with animals or animal products and cooking food thoroughly. It also involves implementing measures to reduce the risk of transmission from animals to humans, such as proper waste disposal and controlling animal populations. Ultimately, the key to controlling zoonotic diseases lies in finding a balance between human and animal health. By taking steps to prevent and control these diseases, we can protect both ourselves and the animals we share this planet with. Zoonotic diseases may pose a threat, but with knowledge and proactive measures, we can work towards a healthier and safer world for all. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content.